1980 was the year Charles Njonjo, until then Kenya's powerful Attorney General, took a plunge into elective politics. In April, he prevailed upon Amos Nanga, MP for Kikuyu, to step down in his favour, receiving a substantial sum of money as compensation for his generosity. In the ensuing by-election, Njonjo was elected unopposed. President Daniel Arap Moy let Njonjo sit on Parliament's backbenches for a while before appointing him Minister for Home and Constitutional Affairs. That position placed Njonjo second in rank to Vice President Mwai Kibaki, a fellow Central Province leader. To replace Njonjo as Attorney General, Moy appointed James Karuku, another Central Province man who, as Deputy Public Prosecutor, had been Njonjo's deputy for many years. As if to balance the ethnic equation in his government, Moy brought into his cabinet Peter Olo Aringo. MP for Alego in Nyanza province, as Minister for Information. Unlike his fellow Luos in Cabinet, Foreign Affairs Minister Robert Ouko and Commerce Minister John Okwanyo, Aringo was known to be close to former Kenya People's Union leader Oginga Odinga, who had been barred by the ruling party Kanu from vying for Parliament in the previous year's general election. Aringo's appointment was seen as a sign that Moy wanted to find an accommodation with Odinga's vast following in Luo land. He hoped Luo support would help him cope with the challenges that he was already feeling from central province leaders, especially in Jonjo's supporters. Moy had already appointed Odinga chairman of the Cotton Linton Seed Marketing Board as part of an orchestration of gradual steps intended to eventually lead to Odinga's re-entering parliament. In the meantime, Moy had to attend to a number of important international issues. He played host to Pope John Paul II, who visited Kenya in May as part of an East African tour that included Uganda, where his host was the new president, Godfrey Benaisa. 1980 was the year Kisumu Molasses plant was set up by the Madhvani Group to produce vehicle fuel from molasses collected from nearby sugar factories. It was the year that Maendeleo House, the headquarters of the grassroots women's organization Maendeleo Yawanawake, was officially opened by Moi. And it was also the year that a woman, Dr. Michere Mugo, was first elected Dean in the Faculty of Arts of the University of Nairobi. Another first that year was the release in September of the first full-length professional movie by a Kenyan producer, The Rise and Fall of Idi Amin by Sharad Patel, with Joseph Olita and Amin Lookalike in the lead role. Nineteen eighty was a year in which a number of people died from violent causes. It started with the murder in January of internationally famous conservationist Joy Adams in Meru National Park. On New Year's Eve, a bomb exploded at the Norfolk Hotel in Nairobi, killing 20 people and injuring more than 80, many of them tourists. 